Hey, welcome back to LS Tech. It's your boy Loki, and today we're going to be checking out the iPhone 11 Pro in the new Pacific Blue. It's supposed to be an amazing, beautiful color, but yeah, let's begin with the video. Thank you for watching LS Tech. Make sure you leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, enable notification with the little bell icon so you don't miss out any of my latest videos. So yeah, I ordered the 128 as always on the day and one week later I got a notification saying that it got delayed. So I then ordered the 256 hoping that will arrive because that was in stock and now I have both of them in my hands. I'm going to keep the 256. I might do a giveaway on the 128. Let me know in the comment section if I should do a giveaway. But yeah, you can see the box is so much different to compare to last year. Like I have the iPhone 11 Pro here and you can just see that it's just so much smaller. It's the same height but thickness, it is a huge difference. For otherwise the box looks really nice. The black one, so the iPhone Pro clients get the black versions where the iPhone 12 standard or the 12 mini will get the white box with the home screen on the front view which is really nice compared to last year we got view of the back but this year it's more about the front but yeah let's open this up whoa let's go for it oh that oh that's nice that is so nice. Let's take it out. Okay, let's just admire that. That blue is so nice. Oh, oh my hands are cold, but that feels oh, that's a magnet, fingerprint magnet as always. That looks so nice. That blue, I am loving that. Oh, that's just so stunning. But let's see what else we get in the box because this time we don't get a lot. So we've got a little leaflet here, it's a documentary. So we've got your stem ejecting tool if you still use those. Some documents. Where's the sticker? <gasps> oh, we get one Apple sticker now. We used to get two, but now we only get one. And then we just get our standard USB C to Lightning. And of course, no power brick, no headphones, and nothing. Compared to last year's iPhones, let's take this out. We've actually got some bigger documentaries, as you can see. Huge different there. And we got two stickers last year, and this year we only get one. But that's a bit sad. And then we always got the power brick and the headphone. But this year we don't get any of those, so you need to get something else this year. So with this year's iPhone, Apple actually removed the power brick as well as the headphone because apparently so many people have it. And yes, I'm gonna agree because I have so many of those power bricks and I've got a ton of those Air, Apple AirPods and I don't I never use them, never use them. I always use my AirPods or use my Sony headphones, but you can always buy the power brick separately as always. I picked one up anyway, just to show you guys. So that's, yeah. And, which is for $20, it's not that expensive, but fine. But what else Apple introduced this year was this Mac Safe. So I'm gonna have a video on this very soon, so make sure you are subscribed to my channel for that. But this is one of the new features in iPhone 12 and 12 Pro. So that looks really, really nice. I am digging that. That is stunning. So let's just peel this off and before that we can see this is where the power button is if you didn't know and you've got your volume rocker as well as your mute switch. Let's peel this off. As always, that, well, that actually feels. So you can see the design changes from the flat to the curve. Of course the phone is Look at that, that's nearly the same size, like 
there's a tiny bit difference but then you're going from a 5.7 all the way to a 6.1 which is so nice you can see everything is still in the same place your mirror switches at the bottom your speaker grill your lightning port everything looks nice and at the back you don't have the branding there you have it on the side here as you can see i'm not sure how well it's picking up on camera all the fuse feels really great in the hand i have to say I, I use my ipad a lot and i like the feel of it and this feels the same the flat edges but yeah let's just power this on so while that's powering on i'm just going to go over the main features in the iPhone 12 Pro this year compared to the iPhone 11 Pro of course you've got the new improved screen and a bigger size as well as 6.1 but the form factor is nearly the same and the second one the new design those flat edges are just so so beautiful and of course you've got 5G and of course I'm going to be testing out that as well 5G is in my local area, so hopefully I should be getting some good speeds with that as soon as I get my new SIM for that. So on the back, we've got improved camera. So we got the wide angle and telephoto cameras as well as with the LiDAR radar, which is gonna give you some amazing autofocus and speeds. And of course, you've got now night mode in portrait as well, which is amazing. And of course, you've got 10-bit HDR for the video recording as well. And the new cameras now supports Apple's new Pro format for superb editing when you get to those part, if you love that. So yeah, my phone is now fully set up. It looks just like my iPhone 11. All the iOS 14 customization has just gone through, which looks really nice, as you can see. Everything is done perfectly with no issues. I'm really happy with that. And it feels great, like it's all done. Of course, I'm going to do like proper testing, have a full review and do a comparison with both of them and I just do a full test with the feature and just how I love it, everything. But of course, I'm just really impressed with it. Like it feels really great in the hand and I'm loving this blue color. I wish they did an Apple Watch in this stainless blue and really nice. It's, it's, it's still not like a blue, it's more like a dark color, so it would be really nice. Like, they did the blue one, but this time they did it in the aluminium version, which I'm a big fan. Like, I'm a big fan of it. It looks nice, but I would have liked that stainless version because then it would be much stronger because last year, previously they added to the gold one, the stainless steel, which matches the gold, as you can see here. It looks really nice, so rocking these would be really great because of the stainless will match. But this year, with the... Blue is just being aluminium and it's a different blue. Like I'm not complaining, I like this blue much better. It suits me and I like this blue, but this blue is really nice as well. But of course I would have wished that stainless color, even though it's not a blue blue stainless. But I'm licking. <laughs> I'm, but still I'm really impressed with the color and room, I like this blue. It is so stunning and I love it that it's matte as always. But overall, you can see the design is just so different. Like just now, just feeling it, it feels much better in the hand. And like, I was hoping that it's going to be way bigger the screen. But like I was said, it's literally the same dimension. As you can see, like it's a tiny bit of different and you're getting that bigger screen, which I'm really impressed with. Yes, you don't get the power brick or the headphones included this year, but Apple did keep the price down at $999. They didn't increase it by 100 or anything like that. Of course, they're going to have done that just because of that 5G tip, which is more expensive and the screen and everything. But you can always just pick up one of these, pick up the MagSafe and pick up the headphones for 100 and then you're paying the same, so you can't really complain. And it's only 20 so I don't understand why when people are complaining they don't have it. Yes, it's not included, but you can always just pick up one when you buy one, or you can always just go on Amazon. I'm going to be doing tons of reviews on these USB-C, so make sure you are subscribed to my channel for that. But yeah, that was my unboxing and first look of the iPhone 12 Pro in this new Pacific Blue, and I'm just loving it. I'm pleased with it. I can't wait to test it out and just see how well it's going to perform. 
from speed, camera test, everything. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out any of those videos. Make sure you hit that little bell icon so you are staying up with all of my latest videos. And let me know in the comment section what I should do with this iPhone 12 Pro and 128 gig. Shall I do a giveaway? Christmas is coming up soon. So let me know in the comment section what I should do with this. But as always, Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.